Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. Some of you may know that, first of all, I'm 19 and my voice cracks sometimes, and I've been playing a lot of Civilization VI. Civilization, ever since I started playing it, I believe it was sometime in 2008 or 9, I found my brother's copy of Civ 2 and eventually he installed Civ 3 for me, that I've loved the series so much. Like... If you, t if, if, like, I get stuck with an Xbox, 100% right now, I would, it would be like Siege all the way, right? But if I got stuck with a computer, I would probably just want it to have Civilization 2 through 6 on it, and I would be fine, right? Now, Civilization 6, I think on paper, is a worse game than Civilization 5, right? And if you played one game of Civ 5 and one game of Civ 6, you would notice this. Civ 5 has a more intricate tech tree. It has more technology, more civilizations, and better in my like if you look at it, it has better graphics. Right? Because of it just has it doesn't look like a cartoon. Like when you first play Civ 6, it kind of looks like Revolution but built as if you were playing Civ 5. Now, when you go deeper, however, and you look at the timeline of civilization, that's where this gets interesting. So, let me tell you why Civilization VI is better than Civ V. is because it sets up Civilization VII to be the greatest civilization game of all time. Okay? Let me explain. Civilization 2 set up Civ 3 to be an amazing game. Okay? Now, what happened with Civ 2 was um, the game was... I mean, obviously, there was a graphics upgrade, but there's just generally a lot more stuff in it that I know of compared to Civilization 1. I haven't actually played the game. But Civilization 2 had a very intricate system, right? All these resources on these hexes. The cities had a lot of influence. Um, there was a lot of civilizations that didn't do, they, I mean, that you didn't do anything, but there was just a lot going on in Civ 2. What Civ 3 did was they took that and they took what was great about Civilization 2 and added to it, right? They added the builder unit. They added, um, enslaving settlers and, I know that sounds wrong, but you can capture civilization, or civ, uh, settlers and builders. They added... To the tech tree to where you had to research all the baseline ancient era stuff before going to the medieval era they added civilization bonuses which is now a staple in civilization the games even civilization revolution it added having to collect resources to create your peep your your units right if you wanted to make a swordsman you had to build iron mines right so and i mean civ 3 had one of my favorite features which was the colony to where you could build a road outside your civilization and put down a like a resource colony outside of your civilization that was really cool so then skip over civ 4 go to civ 5 civ 5 implemented the hex system got rid of the dice rolling combat and made it so you had unit strength they added pretty interesting ranged combat made it so stacks don't matter anymore and generally just civ 5 i think overall is the pinnacle of a civilization game it, it's like it's like 20 years of progress leads up to the, this right right now i think civ 5 is the greatest civilization game but what civ 6 did was it took civ 5 made it more accessible. Civ 6 is easier to play than Civ 5. And sped up the gameplay. Okay, it sped up the gameplay, made it so there's less boring parts, and also implemented the district system and the way that the wonders work and the hexagons, right? Honestly, Civ 6 is kind of like the board game. I know, that's how much of a nerd I am. What I think is going to happen in Civilization 7, though, is based around the stuff Civ 6 has done. 
the trader system I think is going to be better. Um, the bonuses are better. And I think they're going to expand on specialty districts and also go back to the way that Civ Five was with, with different different things, right? Limited resources. I think that's better than having these, um, oh, you got two resources, uh, everything. You can build everything, right? So I think that they're going to go to limited resources. I think that they're going to go back to builders being able to build roads instead of military engineers, even though roads are military technology. And I generally think that all these little things that if you actually play Civilization VI, you notice all these little things, right? Civilization VII is going to be the greatest game in the series because Civ VI experimented with new things. And they're not perfect, right? They're not perfect at all. I think the specialty system, the district system's okay. You know, it's not the best, um, the walls system is weird, right? Siege equipment, weird. Shellings, a city, and also using infantry, built in Civ Five. Not building roads with builders, like, what? Limited builders? Interesting concept. You know, it adds to the fast-paced action of you can't develop everything, so you have to plan stuff out. I just... I just think Civ 6 is better because of what it's building the foundation for with Civilization 7. That's why I think Civilization 6 is better. is because it just sets up this experimentation that the game has done. This experimentation and the amount of like specialization that each civilization has. I mean, you have special, special districts special agendas for the uh npcs like it seems like one or two special abilities a special unit and sometimes two special units right just taking every civilization and defining it more the policy system i pref i kind of see they mixed up um the government system of putting in your own custom policies while also the legacy bonuses so it's kind of like civ 5 they're going to redefine it, and they added the civics tree along with technology. That's why that's why the tech tree seems so tiny, is all the civics they added. And I think that Civ 7 is going to be like Civilization 5 was to Civilization 3. It's just going to be massive. The game's going to have so much stuff in it, and it's going to be so intricate, and I think it's just going to be the greatest game of all time. So that's why Civilization 6 is better. That's another reason why I think the Wii U, even though it was a commercial failure, set up the Switch to be the greatest system ever. I think Civilization VI is doing that. So that's it for this video. Long rant. I hope you enjoyed. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.